enjoy the show. Ci siamo col multiplayer del multi, raga. We got intel reports of Hassan and the cartel forming terrorist cells all over the globe. We've never seen activity on this scale before. They have an army. But we have each other. The world is a vampire. Grazie Franci Enemies above Drill charge This... Eyes on the hostage You're gonna be okay Hostage secure Sniper, on cover Keep going Gotcha Fa paura, raga. Ma va! Il drone con le bombe! Grazie, Gabriel. Grazie, Gabriel, per le 50, bro. and get early access to the open beta. Mm, mica male! Mica male! We got intel reports... Ancora? Com'è? ...forming terrorist cells all over the globe. Lo fanno rivedere? Lo vogliamo rivedere? Vediamo un po' le armi, magari. We've never seen activity on this scale before. They have an army. Sott'acqua? Ma va! Ho paura, raga! Grazie Gabriel per le altre 50, mamma mia è impazzito oggi Gabriel, grazie di cuore bro. Due? Erano due Franci, è vero? Grazie Gabriel per il like Alessandro, buonasera ragazzi Dici Danny Grazie.
Grazie bro Grazie Franci to the open beta. And there we go, Call of Duty fans. The trailer so nice. We ran it twice. It is all there. Everything that makes this franchise so, so special. We are incredibly excited to be here today. And after that, quite frankly, how can you not be? My name is Miles Ross, and I am so excited to truly be here with a few of the members of the Infinity Ward team who are bringing Modern Warfare 2 to life. Guys, we have 200 of our friends behind us who are going to be playing and streaming shortly. But before that, we also have Stephanie Snowden, Director of Communications for Infinity Ward, as well as Joe Seeker over the under Jeff Smith, multiplayer design directors here at Infinity Ward. Guys, first off, oh, how are things <laughs> evolving uh, from Modern Warfare 2019? I mean, let's start high level because there's a lot to get through today, guys. You saw that trailer. Let's go with the philosophy, Steph. Let's, let's stay high level. What went into the creation of the game? You said it precisely. There is so much. This game has just so much content it's got something for everyone and it's really been the result of three years of hard work um, at iw and our partners across all of the activision studios and so much of that work started with you guys at home the community the fans our creators here and that conversation and feedback from 2019 is really been a core piece of what Modern Warfare 2 is. And it's a dialogue that we hope to, uh, you know, continue, especially here today. Well, we've got so much in store with this MP experience. And um, people like Jeff and Joe here, who I am honored to work with and their experience on this franchise, we're in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so Jeff, um, well, I don't know where to start anymore. Uh, let's, uh, let's set up what Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer is, is all about. Uh, and let's stay high level for now, because there's a lot of details, friends, juicy details. Sure, I mean, you know, when you come into making a sequel, it can be kind of tricky, you know? Um, what do you keep from the previous game? Uh, what do you get rid of? And where can you add new things in and not mess up this kind of nicely balanced ecosystem that we had? Uh, and so we came up with a few uh, methods, one of them being uh, player behaviors. And I say behaviors um, and not uh, play styles. I think a lot of people will say play styles, but that can kind of change during a match. But behaviors are more ingrained in how players play. Um, and we just put them into three big groups. Uh, we call them rushers, which are just aggressive players. They just want to find the action and go. And then we have Sentinels, um, and these are defensive players. They want to just kind of hold down a building, maybe keep a little Overwatch. Um, and then we have um, Stalkers, which are reactive, and they kind of hang back and try to read the field and read where um, spawns are. And really, we just kind of use these as filters to keep us honest with the content that we're making. Um, so they're making enough toys and equipment for players to be successful playing our game. Sounds like a lot of fun. Stephanie, what are some of the new features coming to multiplayer, um, some of the new stuff that you're most excited to talk about? Oh, boy. There are a ton of new features to dive into with this game, but um, we really pushed forward even the most fundamental aspects of, of what makes a Call of Duty game um, with Modern Warfare 2, and it's been really amazing for me to come on board uh, this past year and see these innovations coming to life, to hear Jeff jump into, you know, breaking down the 1v1. Um, and personally for me, uh, water. Our water, I've seen the memes, we love water. It's really hard to make in games. Um, with the aquatic combat, some of the things you're able to do with vehicles in the primo, water, I think that level of immersion. Dicono that the first change that will be in the multiplayer, in any multiplayer, Warzone, qualsiasi cosa. Sarà il poter nuotare, il fatto che ci sia l'acqua e che si potrà usare. Can we go into some details about our water-based adventures in MW2? Yeah, I mean, last game we really wanted to add water, and we knew we didn't have time, right? So in Verdance we froze the rivers and we made the... Cosa che poteva succedere nei Black Ops, ma... Water, both visually, um, beautiful caustics, um, there's waves with white caps. Um, but we also, the gameplay side, saw, there's no. unique ballistics underwater. Um, you only can use certain weapons underwater. Your pistol is your weapon underwater, otherwise you can't use your primary weapons. Um, but it's also a nice arma, cover or evasion mechanic. If you're getting shot at, you can dive into the water, arma. and as you get deeper, it gets murkier. Like, the farther you are from something, you can't see it. And so, it's been... Eh, non vanno, bro, per quello sto cercando di... 
reflex on what water could be in Call of Duty, and you saw the boats and the mine that floats, and every the piece Crocs of equipment mine. yeah, has been I love it. filtered. Like, how does it work through water? Like, we had to look at everything in the game and say, how does it work in water? Stanno parlando di queste cose, no? Stanno parlando di come funzioneranno i colpi sott'acqua. Insomma, queste cose qua, eh, ci sta, una cosa figa. Ciao, Yuri. Uh -huh. I my toes into those wars. Uh, but guys, let's not forget about the ground and the air. Like, I mean, what else is going to be coming to the movement system? Joe, what have we got? Sta parlando del movement. Um, and we had slide. And, and even though we're a military shooter, fluid movement is super important to us. So this game, you saw in the trailer, you can see here on the video, we have a new ledge hang mechanic. And that's essentially a high mantle. But instead of doing a high mantle and throwing yourself up over into combat, you can now peek. If you have a pistol, you can pull that pistol out and use that. Um, we also added a dive. You know, last game we had the slide that kept your gun up, but we really wanted players to have an option where if they're getting shot at, they don't know where they're getting shot at, they can get down, get out of fire. But the other really cool thing is the dive is just high enough to let you get through a window. And so if you throw a grenade up into a building second story, often you'll see players, you know, like rats leaving a ship, diving out through the window. Allora, dice che con le pistoline, quando sarete sulle scale, sopra tipo appoggiato a qualcosa, cioè tipo delle scale da salire, no? Dice che potrete piccare con la pistolina. Non ho capito se anche con la mitraglietta, mentre siete sulle scale. E che la slidata non sarà proprio uguale. Adesso sta parlando dei veicoli. Dynamite new items that we're going to be throwing at each other and equipping and using in all sorts in the next game. I mean, you saw some cool stuff in the trailer. You saw the drill charge, you saw the shock stick. Um, one of the other cool ones you saw is the inflatable decoy. And this is a mine that you can throw out and it basically sits there. And if a player gets close to it, it auto deploys and uh, basically inflates like a, like a car airbag going off. <laughs> and it faces the person that triggered it and so it's a great distraction technique you can also fire it off with a with a clacker when if you want to control when it goes off you can throw it in water and here you just saw the the ddos we added all this equipment into this game and the ddos is our, our kind of answer of like hey i'm going to breach this building i want to go clean house but i don't want to deal with all the shit inside so i'm going to hit the ddos boom ci saranno delle nuove bombe che proietteranno eh, la tua visione, però è fake. Quando il nemico gli sparerà non succederà niente e si potrà usare per prendere per il culo, diciamo, cioè per mettere in trappola la gente. Me is um, my personal favorite. You can put out a lot of them and yeah. even you can patch into your teammates. So you can, it gets a little crazy. Yeah, kind of like a sticky GoPro, but will actually mark your enemies for um, your team. Yeah. So it's it's... I, I expect to see a lot of fun There's so many, with that today. There's <laughs> so many toys and new tools that we're like, we just want players to get in and play with. I think there's something like 13 filled upgrades, you know, between Warzone and Core MP, and it's, it's pretty awesome. Oh my God. Until they all get DDoS. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> uh, all this talk about equipment, uh, it reminds me, I mean, that's one element to look at now, but we've also got Gunsmith, brand new Gunsmith. Stiamo parlando delle armi, raga, le nuove armi. You know, level our weapons and manage them. I mean, what's going on there? Yeah, so the new gunsmith allows players to build out... Cioè, di come si potrà modificare le armi. Some videos yesterday for the Intel drop. I hope people dig into those if you want a better look at Gunsmith 2.0. But we're really looking at unprecedented opportunities for weapon customization. And the new weapon platforming will actually allow players to unlock universal attachments through cross progression. So we saw a lot of really positive feedback from the community yesterday. This is sort of intended to, you know, decrease the grind. You're no longer unlocking every single attachment for every single weapon. There will be some shared attachments through progression. And um, I'm really excited to see the streamers and the content creators jump into this today. Um, I know. I know we all love the gun bench from 2019, so it's exciting. This does sound amazing. Uh, so we've been hearing uh, a little bit about weapon platforms and shared attachments. This is very, very cool stuff. Can you dive into those details though, Jeremy? What can we expect? Yeah, I can add a little bit of what, to what Stephanie said. Um, we had this vision last game with Gunsmith, and we, we were like, okay, what if you could take an assault rifle and you could make it an SMG? And that was our driving kind of like motivator for that system. And we kind of hit that. We, you, could, you could take it functionally through attachments, but the weapon name wouldn't change, and we couldn't change the receiver. And really, that's the key thing this game, is you can go into Gunsmith, you can set up an AK-47 assault rifle with a thermal optic, with a suppressor, with a grip, 
And then you can say, you know what, I want to change up the play style of this gun. You can swap out the receiver to the AK-74U, make it an SMG, but you can keep that optic, that suppressor, that grip, they all come with. And to what Stephanie said, we have shared attachments within these platforms. We have branching progression. You unlock those guns by playing with other guns. And then we have shared attachments across all guns, and it's all to hit this vision of I'm building up an arsenal of weapons and an arsenal of attachments. I'm sitting down to my gun bench, and I'm going to make the perfect weapon for me. I think the maybe the simplest way to think about it is this, is a gun tree, and each time uh, you hit a branch, uh, that's a receiver, and they and they grow out of that. Yeah. Yeah, and that's you know we wanted to ground that in reality. The re functionally a receiver, you know, is is based in that changing the weapon type. And I think it provides a really seamless experience for players looking to build out the perfect Ta weapon for a multitude of play styles. So you're going to be able to jump into that platform and customize however you want for, you know, situational combat. And um, you're actually going to see the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault in action today, which is the entirely unlocked Platform 1, the M4, the Mic 4. And the Weapon Vault maintains its aesthetic properties across all corresponding attachments. So we've heard you talk about the Franken print. This is our answer. It's an extremely rare. Um, this is a huge, you know, project for, for our teams to design these, but um, it is the ultimate weapon blueprint. And even better, you can unlock the entire Cinder Weapon Vault with the Vault Edition Anthony, no. of Modern Warfare 2. Okay. Available in beta. Available in beta, so we can rock with that thing all weekend long. Okay, so Gunsmith looks incredible. Uh, okay, I'm excited. I cannot wait to get into this one soon. Our streamers are going to get into this one soon as well. Uh, but first, guys, we need to hear about maps and modes. We've got our tools to play with, equipment, weapons, maps and modes, though. Let's get into this one. Uh, let's get into uh, the design team, you know, the philosophy, uh, I suppose, behind building out maps. Ask me, Jeff, this is for you. Um, yeah, you know, right from the start, we knew we wanted to build a big, another big map, um, not only for Battle Royale, but also for this other mode that we've been working on for uh, quite a long time. <laughs> um, I read about that on the internet. Ah, yeah. yes. <laughs> but, you know, when, when you lay out these big maps, you, it's kind of a collection of all these little POIs, these points of interest, and um, within... Stanno parlando della mappa di Warzone, dicono che ci vorrebbe una mappa grande non solo per Warzone, ma anche per un'altra modalità a cui stanno pensando da tanto tempo, non ho capito. How much open world sandboxy gameplay that we have, we looked back Ciao, at Christian, our 66 buonasera. maps and really tried to refine and uh, make them a tighter experience to contrast all this big world um, kind of exploratory gameplay. So the maps uh, for 6v6, um, in comparison to the last game, they're just um, a little bit more straightforward, a little bit more refined, and um, I think fans will really enjoy how um, quick they play. That sounds... A lot of diversity in those maps yeah. as well. A lot of visual variety, some colorful maps in there, and um, they, I think they, they feel really cool. Hey, bo, cool. Bo, the bo. Me in ways I didn't imagine to be moved today. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Cry? I might... <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, it's the first time for okay. it here on, on air. Uh, we've got some of the maps that we are going to be seeing in MW2. Uh, starting with one, uh, we've got a real fun one here, guys. This is one of the aforementioned battle maps. Uh, team, can you give me some details on Sarif Bay? So Sarif Bay is this little fishing town um, in the south coast of our big map. And it, we picked this because it has such a great mix of gameplay. Uh, it's right on a harbor, so we get to show off all our boats and our new amphibious um, APC. Um, and, you know, swimming, as we've already said. Um, but what you get inside the town is this really intense urban combat with all these tight little alleyways and uh, all this great rooftop combat. And mixed with our ledge hang, you get these really cool parkour no, combat so, no. um, uh, action happening. Yeah, I love how you describe the uh, the rooftops there on this. Secondo, map. quella lì dovrebbe essere un pezzo che useranno sia per il multi che per Warzone, secondo me. Fight other snipers. Ciao, David. O forse solo Warzone, non lo so, boh maps uh what about some of the 6v6 maps i think we have uh we have some footage of one of the new maps that we're going to be seeing today uh named mercado las almas uh do you mind giving us some details on this one sure mercado is um is a uh, little street market in a historic section in mexico okay uh, queste sono le queste sono le mappe del multi uh, narcotics are being smuggled out of a warehouse and they're going in trying to um, find and seize them um, this map plays really fast and a lot of action right down that center lane. Um, the Mercado is a very dangerous uh, neck of the woods, so watch out when you're uh, playing in the beta. It plays fast. 
I cannot wait, really cannot wait. Looks fantastic. And again, uh, interesting to see uh, you know, how that ties into campaigns and whatnot. All sorts of fun and games wink, ahead wink. of us. Looks amazing. Battle maps, core maps, 6v6. All this looks fantastic. Uh, but let's go back to modes. So we've seen some maps. Uh, what about the modes being played on battle maps? Uh, we we <laughs> have the return of Brown War. Uh, but we've got a new large-scale mode that you've uh, alluded to, right? Let's talk Invasion. So Invasion is, it's a, it's a big war map. It's like, it's a big war TDM, or we affectionately call it the, the shipment of ground war. Um, it's 20 v 20 players, but there's also 20 AI on each team. Invasione, nella nuova, mod nella nuova mappa ci sarà anche invasione, oltre a Warzone. È tipo un deathmatch gigantesco, gigante, bisogna solo ammazzarsi. No, 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 adesso lo spiegano ancora bene, Paulino. Devono ancora spiegarlo. Non ci devono parlare. Han detto che non sarà uguale, però. I'm conscious of where we put AI in multiplayer. Um, we didn't put AI in kill streaks or anything like that because we don't want AI showing up in search and destroy. We don't want AI in domination. This mode, though, however, was built for AI. And it's a super fun mode. Can't wait for people to try it. Kind of a funny aside, you know, we took the name Ground War from a playlist in MW2. And that was just large scale TDM and DOM. And we kind of did the DOM in the last game. Um, and now we're able to add kind of the sandbox TDM. And so we're kind of completing the cycle of that um, that old playlist. Yeah. yeah. Well, this large scale stuff looks amazing. This looks so, Ciao, so massi, awesome. Man, uh, okay, like so what about this, the new 6v6 yeah. modes? Just keep dialing it in closer and closer. Steph, what have we got? Yeah, so we also have two new 6v6 modes that you're going to be seeing here displayed today. Um, and they will be in beta, in prisoner, rescue, and knockout. Ok, ci saranno delle modalità nuove, che una sarà salvare l'ostaggio e portarlo fuori senza che muoia. Non si può respawnare. They need to, to keep hold of them. The goal of the attackers is to get to those prisoners, pick them up and carry them to Exfil. Um, when you pick them up, you enter what's called a wounded carry, where they're up on your shoulders and you can't use your primary Vedete? weapons. Instead, you have to use a pistol if you brought it or you're just stuck with fists. But the way that we give the attackers an advantage once they grab that prisoner... Is... 6v6. Ciao Pietro, buonasera anche a te, bello mio. Si, Paulino, puoi. Tu puoi anche avere la beta prima di me, lo sai. Prisoner goes away as soon as they scoop them up. So now the defenders have to... Perché sei da Xbox. ...the Xville and set up defensive positions. And it's this heart-pounding, adrenaline-pushing, like, mode once you grab that prisoner and try and get them out. Um, yeah, that, that hero run yeah. to the Expo was... Um, Definitely, uh, you know, S and big S&D energy in this mode, um, which I resonates with me in my time in eSports. So this is my personal favorite of the new ones. And um, also sort of the strategic revives that happen. There is mm -hmm. a revive mechanic, and so you are able to, to pick up your teammates. And um, I've seen some pretty, pretty wild comebacks in our playtest so far. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we got to play a ton of it yesterday. It was amazing. Incredibly fun. And I know the community is going to love diving into it over the next week. Okay, I can hardly believe that there's actually a lot more content to get through. But there's one more thing I have to bring up. I have the honor of officially announcing that Third Person View is finally coming to Modern Warfare 2. Uh, what are the details behind this one? We got a little teaser of it uh, on, on stage from Patrick, but what are the details? Yeah, you saw a little hint of it in the trailer, too. Um, it's It's been a pet project for us, right? We've always wanted to do Third Person. And no. all of we're working on all this other stuff Terza we've been kind of lifting up raga. and doing third person in no, each mode. So the cool paura, thing is guardate. that it's a modifier on our no. game, right? We can just turn on third person. In the beta, we're playing it in hardpoint, but we want to try it post-launch in S&D. We want to try it in VR. Um, and we have, you know, camera work. The camera collision's been reworked. Uh, it handles tight spaces. There's a water camera. There's an interior camera. You can feel the weapon shake when you're firing with it. And it's just, we've put a lot of work into it, and we're excited for people to give it a try. Incredible. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what third-person COD feels like in 2022. Sexy skins and everything. This is a lot of information, Steph. Like, we've, there's a ton here. I tried to warn you. They were delivering <laughs> a lot of new features for you guys to try out ahead of release. Um, and I said we were going to be bold with this beta, and we are, but there's even more to come at launch. So this is just a taste. How is this just a taste? How can there be even more? I mean, <laughs> we haven't even got to Warzone yet. Even, okay. <laughs> Secondo me, infatti, su Warzone non si potrà usare. Solo sul multiplayer e campagna. Secondo me. Turn as our third mode, and we'll be focused on two player missions, asymmetrical in game design. So think one player on air support, one player on the ground. And um, I think the OG fans will be really excited because we've looked at, you know, some of the iconic 
Modern Warfare missions like Overwatch and and really tried to um, implement some of those themes into the design. So uh, we'll be talking more about special ops in the uh, in the months to come. Steph, you're saying I should be looking uh, now for a special ops partner. Ci saranno anche delle special ops che saranno delle missioni che farai con un amico qui in due e saranno belle cazzute, però ho detto che ne parlerà più avanti. Cioè, i dettagli li vedremo più da più avanti. Empty handed. I was born. Empty handed. I will ascend. Blade or bullet. Fist or bow. Spear, stone or arrow. These are merely tools. I am the one to fear. Eight miles, I so. Fix your mic. PlayStation players will receive an exclusive operator only, only as a warrior and gun. Ragazzi che giocano da PlayStation, se preordinate il gioco questo personaggio voi ce l'avrete gratuitamente. Guys, only is going to be playable on day one for all who pre-order through the PlayStation Store. Plus, he comes with a high-level weapon blueprint playable in multiplayer and Warzone 2.0. Steph, badass. Oni is awesome. I myself am a PlayStation player, and so I will be locking becoming Oni main day one for this game. Um, and it's been really awesome to see our narrative team building out his lore, really bringing this operator to life with the creation of his backstory, his motives. And I think... Um, the art team absolutely crushed it with this skin. He is so, so cool looking. <laughs> all right, Stephanie, we keep talking about all the uh, the things that you know we have to look forward <laughs> to, but um, we are missing quite a big one here. We're missing the start of the beta. So for anyone who wants to get an early first-hand look at Modern Warfare 2, and trust me, you definitely want to, it is immediately available around the corner. For PlayStation players who pre-order any version, September, early access to the open beta starts 17, tomorrow. So make sure you are PlayStation right now. And Poi per secondo weekend dal 22 al 23 Xbox, PC e PlayStation per tutti e dal 24 al 26 per tutti aperta anche chi non l'ha preordinato. The weapon vault in the beta in addition to being able to earn in-game rewards for playing all sorts of cool swag. And don't forget that if you digitally pre-order Modern Warfare 2, you also Grazie get Danny up to a week early bro. campaign access. So wait, campaign a week early. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed that first look at Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer. Don't forget, you're going to get to see it live and in action in a few short minutes with our crazy set of streamers here, 200 plus here and ready to rock and roll. But first, we'll be right back to show off the world premiere of Warzone 2.0. Don't go anywhere. Call of Duty Next, brought to you by Mountain Dew, official drink of Modern Warfare 2. Little Caesars. A proud partner of Call of Duty Next and September. Modern Warfare 2. HyperX, official peripheral partner of Call of Duty. Play like a pro on the big screen with 144Hz VRR and AMD FreeSync, now on TCL 6 Series TVs. Prime Gaming, visit gaming.amazon.com today and start claiming your free content. Insomma, vabbè, abbiamo visto un bel po' di roba, raga, devo dire, non è malvagio, non è un brutto gioco, anzi, è da scoprire, ne vedremo delle belle, secondo me ne vedremo tante belle, perché la modalità nuova, tipo quella con il rap, cioè con il, come si chiama, con lo staggio 6v6, è bella, poi la nuova, la, bisogna vedere la nuova mappa gigante, Boh, c'è un bel po' di roba, raga, da vedere. Mi manda la moderatrice migliore di tutti le DB. Ciao, Sebastiano. <ride> Grandissimo, bro. Vabbè, vabbè, dai, andiamo a fare una calderina nel mentre. Come stai tu, Sebastiano? Tutto bene? Sì, Nino, mi sa che per quelli che hanno la, le nuove console, sì. Mi sa che lo metteranno. Sei la migliore, bravo. Sei la migliore, io te lo giuro. 
Sei la sei una grande, giuro. Ciao Sebastiano, lascia un bel follow, però ricordati. Grande Danny, grazie mille per il like e no. Chissà se ci romperà le palle Facebook a noi che abbiamo streamato questo coso qua, però fa niente, dai. Facciamo finta che non è successo niente. Ah, eh, sì, sì. Dimmi, Dai, Davide, non è... Un nemico. Attenzione, in alto! Milan, Sirio, io Emilia, Milan. Milanista il Don Freo No, sempre stato Milanista Anche quando era in brutti momenti Che giochi erano? Dov'è che bisogna farla la, la... Più che altro c'ho fino... Fino alle otto e mezza, Davidone, perché poi esco, ma vai tranquillo che alle nove sono lì con te, vai tranquillo. Che... Ce la facciamo? Cos'è che era? Allora, una qua, una su Fortune e una su... Come si chiama? L'altro gioco, no? Eh... Strumble Guy. Vediamo se riusciamo, dai, se faccio la win subito qua va bene. Uccidete! Avete padre Pioli <ride> Esatto Sirio Pioli on fire No, ma tanto sono da un amico, quindi... Si può fare. Comunque la Vargo S picchia, eh? UAV nemico attivo! Caccia di equipaggiamento alleato! E il gas è sempre più vicino! Provincia di Lecco io, bro.
<ride> Sai che non sono mai venuto a Roma, Sirio? E sai che brutta cosa, ciao Vincent Grazie mille per il like Vincent come stai, numero uno, tutto bene? Come stai Vincent, tutto bene? No hai ragione, bro. Ma forse l il 9 ottobre vado perché c'è il mio amico al compleanno e lui è di là. Magari vado. Cioè, vengo. Sicu quasi sicuro. Sì, perché un mio amico ha il compleanno là e mi ha invitato, quindi magari ci sarebbe andare, no? Oddio! ha killato un altro ma in che senso buonasera Raffaele Stai Raffaele, tutto bene? Non ho finta di nulla, va? Ecco il bersaglio, va abbattuto. Ciao Giuseppe, grazie mille per il like, Giuseppe. visita questo ragazzo ciao cristiano grazie mille per i like bro gas in avvicinamento nuova zona sicura Grazie Cristiano Ottavio, grazie anche a te per il live bro. Ti 
andiamo, 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 andiamo che siamo pieni di soldi. Abbiamo bisogno di uno shop e basta. Salvo! Questa è bella del dono, tutto bene? Rientro alla base. Sta arrivando un nemico! Attenzione in alto! Di nuovo! Cosa mi racconti, cucciolo? Tutto bene bro, tutto bene io dai Non me la mendo Requesting recon flyover UAV in servolo Stadio, bro. Se il gas si avvicina, nuova zona sicura per voi. Robby qua mi fa paura veramente Sono andato nove volte allo shop nove volte ho fightato ah, ah. <ride> Bravo bello lo stadio hai detto bene Ciao Giuseppe Buonasera grandissimo come andiamo Giuseppe Grazie anche a te Luca per il like attino bro, grazie di cuore. Passi in arrivo! Cerca di coprire le tue tracce, sì, l'ho già vista, bro. di un team nemico. L'ho appena vista, Giuseppe. UAV nemico attivo! Ciao Andrea, buonasera bestia, come andiamo? C'è poco tempo, andate alla meta! Io l'ho già comprato bro! 
Non è... In non è male, male. Fa, secondo me è tanta roba. Oh, oh man. Secondo me... Ma la vuole vedere una bella cosa sto tipo? Proprio questa. Tanta roba, Tony. Dai, il 16 novembre come data. Cosa ho, Samu? Autonomia UAV esaurita. Rientro alla base. Disregard my last. Meta, però Samu non puoi dirmi di no Ciao no, Massimo Autonomia UAV esaurita Rientro alla base Poverino Daniel eh? Dici che sono preso? La, la penultima serie di Ah ok Merda! E gli avevo fatto anche una bella roba lui, eh! Ehi, culo! Ta, e riavrai la tua libertà! Autonomia UAV esaurita, vi... Sopravvivi e tornerai in prima linea. Perdi e sei fuori dai giochi. Risolvi con le maniere forti o cattura l'obiettivo. Non hai avuto pietà. Preparati al rientro. Ciao Paulino. Ah, 
Arriva il gas! Marco, la nuova zona sicura! Lancio di equipaggiamento alleato! Grazie Tony per tutto il simpo, bro, grazie cuore. Gas in movimento Si è lessato UAV nemico attivo Sei negli ultimi dieci. Salvatore Andiamo bestia tutto bene Puoi fare una roba Questi recall file UAV in sorvolo Grande Pasquale grazie mille per il like Hai visto Raffa Hai visto Raffa Autonomia UAV esaurita, rientro alla base. Restate in 5. Il gas si avvicina, nuova zona sicura per voi. Controllate sempre bene raga, sempre, sempre, guardate, guardate come si mettono. No, da, comunque non riesco, bro. Riesco a farti una win qua e una su Fortune Skip se vuoi, fra. Arriva il gas! Marco la nuova zona sicura! Yeah. 
Vi raggiunge! Ah! Volevo salire sul tetto. No, porco due, ma porco... Mm, io che odio! Che odio, che odio! Hanno vinto. Ah, ma chi se lo sarebbe mai immaginato, raga, che questo arrivava così? Chi, 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 chi? Eh. Ma chi se lo immaginava che era lì così, porco cane? Rebirt ritorno quartetti, dai! Porco due, facciamo una Rebirt. Ciao mamma. Ciao. Tutto bene, te? Beh che è tornata a Rebir, chatte! La devastiamo. Eh mamma, vieni a dirlo, è tornata a Rebir, vieni. Sì, è tornato? Rebir. Tornata a Rebir, vamonos. Ciao raga. È tornata a Rebir. È Re tornata a Rebir. Bravo, Rebir, bravo. Rebir. Usate questo tempo per allenarvi, poi si farà sul serio. Questo Drippen è qua Drippen Nippel Grazie Giuseppe per le 99 stelline Bro, grazie di cuore Mamma mia, il Duve Con le 99, grazie bello mio Tutto pronto La zona di guerra vi aspetta Fai partire un party, Samuele Piuttosto di cazzate <ride> Ma va, ma, oh, ma non lo... Ma ti pare, secondo te? Grazie Giuseppe, sia per il like che per le 99 stelle, bro. Ritorno! Ormai il gas è troppo vicino, alla zona sicura! Ciao Michael! Sopravvivete per far rischiarare i caduti e accumulate punti perché tornino più in fretta! Grande Samu, grazie 1.50 per essere Ma è partito il... È partito il party, no Dai, Samuele Riga, le tue 50 sono fake, cazzo ma ti fa chi l'ha presa in giro? Ma non è vero! Non è ancora finita! Salva, come stai? Grandissimo. Ma sei troppo fortunato, G. Mi mancava troppo, eh, bricciate. Troppo, 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 troppo.
Tempo scaduto. Mamma mia, Sawerica! Con le 1455! Non vedevo Samuele Riga con così tante stelle da... Dagli inizi! In Mamma mia, Samu! Mi ha spiazzato, bro, te lo giuro! Buonasera, Alessio! Grazie zio, te lo giuro, grazie di cuore Samu Scrivi, prova a scrivere, vediamo se c'è il paddino Grande, Ale Alessio, ma come mocio vi Aldo un fana? Veramente di... Va bene Ci sistemare io e te dopo, eh Mamma mia, il Samu e le riga, le fissiamo le stelle del Samu perché Dobbiamo dirlo, sono le più belle di meglio. Allora sto game lo vinciamo per Samuele Lancio di equipaggiamento per noi! Non sembrano! Ma ce l'avevo già il pa... Ah! Che cosa per la challenge di ieri, Ale? Sì, Salvatore, sempre in forma, il don. Grazie comunque, bro. Grazie cuore. Ah, ok, per la challenge... Devi fare di meglio! a tutti do porco due bravo fatti sempre i cazzi degli altri te bro tanto bella albab grazie mille per il like bro come stai albab tutto bene spaccare tutto un loadout non posso prendere un loadout bene Alba bene bro non mi lamento scemo devi fare di meglio una mano i miei amici mai 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 sempre vabbè che io insomma Don Fana è sempre a cazzo di cane anche te Don Fana però dai <ride> guarda che qua c'ha il tag clan mammoth 
Dai, dagliela. In testa era, dai, poverino, era in testa. No, dai, era in testa, io lo posso confermare, era in testa. Sono pronta a morire. Sarà molto arrabbiato. E lo capisco. Ritorni in campo. Se taglio non mi colpirà. Ti arrivano tante stelle, erano più, eri più forte? In che senso? Non ho capito. Grazie Alessio! Per la sabbia il regalo, super Ale! Ma che cazzo di sniperata gli ho dato, raga? E non è morto! Porco cane! Adesso grazie mille per la sabbettina e il regalo, Ale. Sei pazzo, sei, giuro. Ti arrivano tante stelle, eri più forte di adesso. Ti arrivavano tante stelle. Ah, e... Grazie, Ale, per la sabbettina e il regalo. Bellissima, bro. Tanto, tanto, bella, bro, giuro. Le sabbie e il regalo mi ispirano, non so perché. Più che le stelle, bro. Vai, altro Brutta la che cosa? Ritorno non più disponibile. Fatti valere. E il gas si avvicina. Nuova zona sicura per voi. Ciao Tommy Mitra Ora però mi fai una scudo col te dove, dove, dove? Bella Francescone, compagnone, come stai bro? Tutto bene Franci? Scudo col tellino, ma quale? Quella su caldiera dici? Ma devo, devo staccare adesso fra. Devo staccare. Io non ho manco mangiato. Infatti io vi saluto. Stasera alle 9 tiriamo le somme per eh, i nuovi scudo col te. <ride> Devo scappare, te lo giuro Ale Ra Domani mattina, passa domani che te la faccio Ale Raga, cosa vi volevo dire? Questo è... <susurra> Siamo, non l'ho vinta, cosa devo fare? Tutto ok, Franci, tutto ok Raga, ci vediamo domani Vi mando un bacione Stasera scelgo bene gli orari per i nuovi sub day Grazie Ale per il like e niente ragazzi vi saluto mando un bacio Francesco, Samuele, Alessio, ciao a tutti raga tutti quelli che ci sono in chat Emanuele, ciao a tutti raga vi saluto ci becchiamo domani quanto ti voglio bene Samu